Hi, I'm Rick Doerr, and I'm standing next to one of my latest projects. This is called The Illusion. Uh, the body was shaped by Luke DeLay at Marcel's. All of the chrome work was shaped by Little Louie, and all of the chrome plating was done at Arts Chrome Plating in Sacramento, California. Uh, this car was inspired by the 165 Delahaye. Obviously, anybody who knows French cars uh, knows of that car. Uh, I love French styling, but it wasn't aggress enough, aggressive enough for me. I wanted something that was much more aggressive, and I think we achieved it. And when I say aggressive, I mean longer wheelbase, everything is going in the correct direction, the angle of the A pillars, these are called the A pillars. If there were posts here, those would be the B pillars. But the A pillars here are in the right angle. They're on the same angle as the door opening, the hood sides. Everything is going in the correct direction. The car's got rhythm, bumper to bumper, even though it doesn't have bumpers. Even the headlights, I wanted something special. I wanted them zoomy, and I wanted them stretched into the inside of the fender. And uh, we were able to pull that off. Uh, the car took, I think, 14, 15 months to build all together. I drove it for a year or so uh, in bare aluminum. And a lot of people said, don't paint it. You, you, you gotta leave it bare aluminum. And until you have a bare aluminum car, don't bother saying that because every fingerprint you get on that car shows. And it's just like getting scotch bright and wiping it off, that ain't gonna work. It's a three-step process. And I'm not gonna go into that. Just don't touch aluminum cars, at least mine. Uh, but the car came out great. It's got an LS motor, LS3 Corvette motor, a six-speed automatic transmission. This car will rock and roll. It is fast. You could smoke the tires. It's got a healthy sound, but it's got a mellow sound at the same time. It does not sound like a hot rod. You wouldn't want to put lake pipes on a car like this or open headers or even headers. You want it to sound calm. Uh, you know, more attractive, not like a tractor coming down the street or a street rod even for that matter. But the sound goes with the flow of the car. Uh, the car was well thought out. Uh, it was inspired, like I said before, uh, by the 165 Delahaye. Uh, Eric Brockmeyer did the artwork for me. Eric and I go back and forth 20 or 30 times on projects. He's a killer artist. Uh, he's a graduate of the uh, Burbank School of Design. And with a car like this, you just can't say, okay, we got a frame rails, we got four wheels and tires, we got a rolling chassis, let's build the body. It's not that easy. You have to have a rendering done, then you have to have that rendering blown up to scale in sections. So to give you a picture, I could take this fender off and hold it up to that rendering and it would match that rendering perfect. And that's how we built this car. Uh, like I said before, it runs great. It's got a healthy sound. It's fast. It'll go down the road easily doing 80. Uh, there aren't any knocks or rattles or stuff you usually hear in a custom car. This is a true roadster. It's got no side glass at all. Uh, I told you it's aluminum body. The top is aluminum as well. And the top is so light, two women could undo the fasteners on each side of the eight pillars, one of them climb in the trunk and undo the fasteners in the trunk and lift it right off the car, it's that light. All together, I would say this car is probably 3,500 pounds, maybe. Uh, it's a great car to drive. Uh, it's a fun car to drive, but one thing about a car like this, you have to be 100% conscious when you're driving a car like this. Uh, when you're behind the wheel, you can't see that front fender on the passenger side. You could see the peak of this one and have an idea where that one is, but with sharp, sharp curves, you have to be careful. This car will do a U-turn in a four lane road, not in a two lane, you'd have to throw it into reverse, but it'll do a U-turn. A lot of people ask me, well, how do you turn the wheels without hitting your fender skirts? Very carefully. I don't crank the steering wheel as hard as I can to the left or to the right. I know where to stop and it will not hit the fenders. 
And the way we did that was very simple. We changed the back spacing of the wheel. So if you have a wheel like this, this wide, instead of it being stationary here on the frame, it's in three inches. And we had enough back spacing on the hoop of the wheel to be able to do that. So this car drives as nice as my wife's Lincoln. Uh, I'm known for pastels, but the last several years I've gone to darker colors. I got a little burnout on the pastels, and I think the color on this car fits it perfectly. I call it a cinnamon with a root beer insert. It's two-toned, and uh, you know, the car's killer. What can I say more about it? Uh, Ron Mangus did the interior, did a great job. Uh, Steve Wilk helped me put the chassis together after Art Morrison was done. And uh, it's been fun. Now I pass it on to somebody else who's gonna have just as much fun. And I just wanted to give you guys a couple of minutes of my time, take a couple of minutes of your time and present this to you so you could have a look. Uh, so again, it's all coach built. And I think it's a killer car. So until I see you the next time, take care.